If you are an avid viewer of Netflix, you probably know who the South Korean actress is. You might know her by the name of Mudok from the very popular Netflix series, The Alchemy of Souls. But did you know? She has been cast in several dramas before The Alchemy of Souls. Jung So Min, or simply So Min, has been in the South Korean acting industry for 13 years. If you want to know more about her, please watch the video until the end. Kim Yoon Ji, who is popularly known as Jung So Min, is a South Korean actress who was born on March 16, 1989. She made her acting debut in a short film starring Kim Soo Hyun in 2009, The Worst Friends, which was a college project under the graduation workshop of the school's department of film. In 2010, she made her first appearance with a supporting role in the television series Bad Guy, where she first attracted attention and made her win an award as Best New Actress for TV from Korean Culture and Entertainment Awards. This led to a leading role in her next project, Playful Kiss, the Korean adaptation of the popular manga Itazura na Kiss. Though it received low ratings in Korea, the romantic comedy was popular overseas, further raising Jung So Min's profile. Despite already having her foot in the door, So Min still put her studies first before continuing her career. She then took a short break in 2011 to concentrate on her studies and came in as a top examiner. Eventually, she graduated and officially earned her degree at the Korean National University of Arts. In the same year, she won the New Star Award from Asia Model Awards. She returned to the small screen in 2012 as part of the ensemble cast of the sitcom Stand By that won her the Best Newcomer in a Comedy or Sitcom Award given at the NBC Entertainment Awards. Later that year, she played a more mature role opposite Sung Jun in the cable series Can We Get Married? Salman left her talent agency Bloom Entertainment in 2013 and joined SM Culture and Contents, which is known to house K-pop powerhouses such as EXO, Red Velvet, and NCT. She then appeared in Came to Me and Became a Star, a single-episode anthology drama special. Salman played a self-centered heiress in 2014 who falls for the protagonist, played by Kang Ji-hwan in Big Man. This was followed in 2015 by a supporting role in a coming-of-age film, 20, and leading roles in horror romance film, Alice Boy from Wonderland, and disaster medical drama, D-Day. Salman starred in a drama special, The Red Teacher, in 2016. She was then cast as the female lead in The Sound of Your Heart, opposite Lee Kong Su, in December of the same year, and they won an award as the best couple from KBS Entertainment Awards. The web drama was a success in China and gained more than 100 million views on Sohu. In 2017, Soman was cast in KBS weekend family drama My Father is Strange, starring alongside Lee Jun, who was her on-screen partner and off-screen boyfriend while the drama was airing. Their relationship lasted for three years. She also starred in the body swap comedy Daddy You, Daughter Me, opposite veteran actor Yoon Jae Moon. She then left SM Culture and Contents in June and signed with new management agency Jellyfish Entertainment. In August, she confirmed her appearance in TVN's romantic comedy series Because This Is My First Life alongside Eamon Gee. She also released an OST Because You Are Beside Me for the same drama. Salman was chosen to play the lead role in The Smile Has Left Your Eyes in 2018. This is an adaptation of the 2002 Japanese television series Sorakara Furuichi Yoko no Hoshi. The same year, she was cast in a historical comedy flick Om Fetal. One of the things on Solomon's bucket list was when she was young, she wanted to become a radio DJ. Thankfully, she actually got to experience what it was like to be inside the booth. In 2018, her dream came true through the radio show titled Jung Solomon's Young Street which was broadcasted through SBS Power FM. In 2019, she moved with Blossom Entertainment, which she shared agency with K-drama heartthrobs Im Joo-hwan and Park Bo-gum. In 2020, 
Sawman starred in the medical drama Soul Mechanic alongside Shin Ha Kyun, where she portrayed a musical rising star with terrible anger management issues, and also did a cameo in Park Jun Hwa's fantasy romantic comedy My Roommate is a Gumiho, appearing as the woman whom protagonist Jang Ki Young loved in the past in 2021. Aside from being an actress, Sawman also has a talent for singing. In fact, she even contributed her vocals to the official soundtrack of two of her dramas, namely Because This Is My First Life and The Smile Has Left Your Eyes. The latter of the two was a duet with her leading man in the show, So Ing Gok. Soman returned to the small screen, who recently starred in the first half of the Netflix Korean drama Alchemy of Souls. She has been praised for her performance of the protagonist Naksu, also known as Mudok, a skilled assassin whose soul is trapped inside the body of servant girl alongside Lee Jae-ok. The drama, which consisted of 30 episodes released over six months, was a hit internationally and abroad, specifically because of the relationship between the lead actors. Finally, on August 2, 2022, after leaving Blossom Entertainment, TH Company CEO Kim Tae-ho announced that Chong Sa-min signed an exclusive contract with the agency. And in September 2022, Sa-min returned to the big screen for the first time in three years with a sci-fi film, Project Wolf Hunting, starring Sa-min's former co-star So in guk and Jang Dong-yoon. Sa-min portrays the character Yi Da-yeon, directed by Kim hong sun Project Wolf Hunting is set on a cargo ship headed for South Korea from the Philippines. Recently, Jong Sa Min together with Kim Yoo Jong and Che Soo Bin played Viola de Lesseps in the Korean production of Shakespeare in Love by Kim Dong Yeon at Shownote, adapted from the 1998 film of the same title. The play premiered at the CJ Towel Theater in the Seoul Arts Center on January 28 and ran until March 26, 2023. The next venue will be at Sejong Arts Center, which will be showing on April 8 to 9, 2023. On February 14, 2023, it was reported that Somin has already finished filming her most recent movie with a tentative title called 30 Days, where she plays Hong Nara, who was married to Na Jung Yor, played by the actor Kang Han Ur. Hong Nara's character will suffer amnesia because of an accident 30 days before Jung Yor and Nara's divorce is finalized. Kang Han Ur was also Somin's leading man in the 2014 movie 20. The release date for the movie, 30 Days, has not yet been announced. All these movies and sitcoms prove that Somin is indeed popular and is still gaining fans throughout the globe. Did you like this video? Please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Starbiz news and updates about Somin and your favorite celebrities.